incredible. Oh, oh my goodness. That is just crazy. And this is, this is not alive, but I'm a little nervous to be honest. It's still moving, just sliced. But is it gonna suction onto my throat? Oh, it's sucking. Okay, let's go for it, guys. All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We're on a world noodle tour, and we just got in to Hakodate, Japan. And today in this video, we're bringing you for the ultimate noodle and seafood adventure. We're in the local seafood market this morning, and we're gonna get a ton of food. Let's check it out. This is it, Hakodate. Right on the southern tip of Hokkaido, Japan. Home to some of the freshest seafood in the whole country, including the famous dancing squid sashimi don rice bowl. And today, we're bringing you in for seven incredible Hokkaido noodle and seafood dishes. So make sure to watch all the way until the end to enjoy them all. Let's eat. And by the way guys, we have an awesome new feature on this channel where you can join and become a member, become our supporter down below where we're providing you with exclusive content. Yeah, we're gonna provide you like exclusive content that Trevor and I will eat together. I think you guys will love it. Cool, let's keep going guys. Okay guys, and this morning market is just packed with seafood. We're gonna compare the street uni versus the luxury uni oh, rice bowl. Yeah. The gonads yeah. comparison cheap gonads versus luxury from the sea urchin and it's just right up here there's a i think there's a local sea urchin stall where we can actually cut one open and slurp it down konnichiwa this is definite straight from the sea guys fresh oh yeah a little soy that's street uni arigato gozaimasu let's try it out mmm Wow, actually, first uni, right from the market, right from the sea, it doesn't get any better. I was a little worried because sometimes uni has like a foul odor, but this is surprisingly delicious, creamy, like a breeze, like a fresh scent of ocean air that you just breathe in. It's smooth, it melts in your mouth, it's creamy. This is as good as it gets right in Hakodate, the source of so much seafood in Japan. And we're gonna compare that street uni to a luxury uni right here, guys. And we're bright and early, opens at 9 a.m. We're gonna try it out. Here we go, guys. Okay, wow, here we are. Look at this beautiful setting here, guys. We're gonna have a beautiful uni comparison here. This is what we came in for, the luxury premium uni. The treasures of the sea. And you can see this place is busy now. People just walked in and are ordering pretty much all the same thing because that is the signature. Wow. Uni done, uni done. Arigato. Look at this guys, wow, it just came. This is ultra premium, you can tell. Just look at how perfectly symmetrical and smooth this uni is. Oh, and I can't wait to try it. They give you a dash of wasabi on top. This is gonna be really unique to compare to the street uni we just had. Um, now I'm just gonna go full beast mode. And we're just gonna totally get a mouthful of luxury. Oh, look at that. That is the cream of the ocean right there. I can't believe it, guys. We're in Hokkaido Island, Hakodate, with premium uni. Let's try it out. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, wow. It is so creamy, refined. There is literally no odor in there. Just like the smoothest, creamy ocean breeze. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. That is next level. You take the street uni, you times the joy and the satisfaction and the smooth creaminess by 100, and this is what you got. That was just amazing, guys. And we're going for tons of food all day. Beautiful. Okay guys, and one thing that you'll find that we've been seeing everywhere in Hakodate is these very like luxury melons. They're almost $35 for one. 
Uh, Igor, Igor. Hi. Arigato gozaimasu. Uh, Igor, big. Big. Arigato. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at these. Oh. Luxury melons. And I've never actually had like top grade fruit in Japan. It's a real thing here to get perfected sweet. Oh, wow. Very sweet. Oh, look at those. Wow, very good. Okay, Igor. Arigato gozaimasu. So the vendor is just grabbing a knife and he's gonna slice one up for us. It's a $35 melon. I'm really curious to try and see if it's worth it. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at the color. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> look at this, guys. The Hakodate special. Mmm! It's just perfect. That's how you could describe it. It's like a melon perfected. It's so juicy. You take a melon, you times it by a hundred, you take that aroma and the natural sweetness all combined is just... Oh, it's just dripping. And next up, we walk just right down the street for a luxury seafood ramen. And here we are guys, bright and early. We're gonna get a luxury seafood ramen. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. Oh, here we are. Uh, Niko kamome ramen. Niko kamome. Arigato gozaimasu. We're gonna get two luxury seafood ramen bowls. So this is just incredible, guys. We're getting a miso seafood buya base ramen with snow crab legs. And you can see he's actually just scooped in a bunch of miso paste into a rich seafood stock with a variety of different seafoods. And we're just slicing up these snow crab legs right now and putting them in that stock. It's gonna be really, really delicious. Here we go, here's the noodles, the ramen, right in the bowl. Look at those snow crab legs. Arigato gozaimasu. And here it is, guys. Check it out. Wow. There's a big scoop of uni in. Oh my. Look at that. All that uni. Sea urchin gonads. We've got snow crab legs. We've got a big. Look at this. We've got a big chunk of squid and a scallop and a big juicy prawn in a seafood miso buya base. Stop. And I think we're just gonna start with an uni ramen slurp. Look at that, guys. With a little stock, that is gonna be a powerful first bite in the morning. Mmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm. Oishi. Oishi. Wow. It's like a strong ocean aroma, but with that stock, it goes very well. Mmm. It is all about that broth. It's a real miso-y seafood buya base. Rich, really healthy and nutritious, you can feel. Stock combined with all of the seafood, like that uni, the gonads from the sea urchin. It's a bit strong. Wow, and look at this, guys. We can just break out the crab flesh. Oh, look at that. Oh my, look at that dangling crab flesh. Beautiful. You can just take it all in one go. Wow. Oh. Delicious. Oh, wow. What a seafood hearty kick to the morning, guys. And we're keeping on moving. And next up, we're gonna jump on the trolley here and go for a shio-based ramen, which is a salt-based ramen. Sea salt from the sea around Hakodate here. Wow. Arigato. And what's so special about this, guys, it's gonna be with the kombu seaweed and it's gonna be full of that natural sea salt aroma. And here we are, guys, Ajisai Ramen. This whole country is where noodle dreams come true. And this is it, the salt-based Hakodate Ramen with chashu pork in a chicken pork stock. Oh yeah, let's try it out. Look at this. This is where noodle satisfaction lives, really. And here we are, guys. Look at that. Look at the options. I'm just gonna get the classic Ajisai special ramen, which is signature salt. And let's just order that. 1300. Arigato gozaimasu. 
Arigato. Oh yeah, we can just sit right here. And here's the noodle station, guys. Look at this. We're making the shio based. Shio ramen. Shio ramen. Wow, that's the kombu stock right there, guys. There it is. Arigato zaimas. Oh, oishi so. <laughs> Here it is, guys. Look at that. Wow. This is the premium shio ramen. Oh, look at all of the toppings on here. We got bamboo shoots, we've got half boiled eggs, tons of negi greens, and there's this seared pork chashu here. There's this dry little tofu puff, all those bamboo shoots, and oh yeah, the signature noodles on the bottom. And this is in a clear salt based, shio based pork chicken blend. It's supposed to be really elegant and clear. First shio ramen on our world noodle tour. Mmm. 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 Oh wow, that is a specialty of hakodate that we've been looking forward to trying. And look at this, guys. Japanese chili oil. I don't know if this is breaking the etiquette, but we're total chili lovers. So let's just get a chili oil egg. Oh wow. Mmm. Oh, slightly smoky with a melt-in-your-mouth egg yolk. If you love it a little more strong with miso or chili, mm, this is not for you. But if you want a wholesome seafood-flavored salt-based stuff, mm, this will bring you right to life. And next up, to finish our day before getting up bright and early the next morning to go try the dancing squid sashimi, we're going for another must-try noodle in Japan, soba. And look at where we are, guys. This is Hakodate. We're just exploring through these wide streets, quite empty looking, and right up ahead, we're looking for a local soba noodle joint. So buckwheat noodles and dipped in a light soy sauce. And it should just be right up here. And it's gonna be good. Let's go check it out. And here we are, guys. And we're gonna get tempura. It's gonna be really delicious. All of the food. I feel like every meal in Japan is hard to have a bad meal. Konnichiwa. Hi. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Oh, and we can sit down in these traditional seating areas. Wow, amazing. And here's the set meals, guys. We've got all different accompaniments that go with the cold soba. We're gonna get the tempura, tempura set meal. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, tempura. Mmm, tempura has arrived and now we're waiting for soba. Oh, look at this. We got a ton of food going on here. Beautiful buckwheat soba noodles and it's served with the real joy. I'm really looking forward to trying. We've got daikon radish, negi greens, and then look inside here. Let's see. Oh, that's a raw egg. And the real secret here is you're gonna crack this raw egg open and fill up this cup. And we're just gonna pour that cold, sweet soy sauce in there. And we're gonna dip our soba noodles in there. We're just gonna mix that egg yolk in. Oh my, this looks unique. And here we go. Let's just dip it. Let's just dip it all in. Get it coated in that. Mmm. Oh wow. Oh, that is refreshing. And this is the iconic piece of flesh from Hokkaido, guys. Crab leg tempura. You gotta come to Hokkaido Island to get the real deal. And here we are, tempura. Local restaurant, traditional Japanese style. We're gonna dip it right in. This goes so well. This whole meal is just a perfect set. You got cold, refreshing soba noodles, a bit of a buckwheat flavor. You got that eggy, sweet soy sauce, and then you got fried tempura. So you got fresh, and then you got oily, and it's mixing together. Mmm. And it all goes so well. And last up, to finish our seafood and noodle tour of Hokkaido, the next morning, we're going straight in for the full-on dancing squid sashimi rice bowl. Oh yeah, look at this. We're gonna get some live squid sashimi, barbecue crab legs. Oh, look at this steamed action. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hi. Hi. How, How are you? How are you? Oh, this is what? This is King crab legs, steamed. And we can also get it barbecue. Yes. 
and barbecue. Barbecue and steamed. steamed. Wow, beautiful. And all the fresh seafood here. King crab. King crab. Whoa. Tasty. Oishi. 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 Amazing. I think we're gonna get a couple king crab legs, maybe two. Two. Uh, barbecue. Oh, yes. Please. Okay. And uh, maybe some ika. 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 Squid. Ika squid. Mm. Uh, uh, Kaizen don. Ika. Ika. Ika don. Ika don. It's okay. 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 Mm. Let's try it out. Oh wow. Barbecue king crab legs in hakodate. Wow. Oishi so. Very good. Very good. Oh, wow, look at those giant crab legs. And over here, there's a live squid tank. We're gonna get a live squid right over rice and try it out. Okay, so we're gonna grab the ika, the squid, out, and we're gonna make a live squid bowl. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Like this? Oh, there it is. Okay, we got it. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, that's the, that's the th danger. 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 Oh, that's the beak. Oh, pull the beak. Oh, there. Safe. Wow. Safe. Okay. We're gonna go cut that up. Wow. Here we go in the kitchen, guys. Okay, here we go, guys. We're gonna slice it up. Whoa. And I must admit, I'm a little nervous to try this squid head just directly over the rice. It's oishi? Oishi. Oishi. Okay. Delicious. Wow, and we're just gonna slice that up, put it over a rice bowl, and we're gonna get Ikura salmon eggs with it as well. This is incredible, coming to the source of fresh seafood in Japan. Wow, incredible. Oh. Arigatou gozaimasu. Whoa. Soy sauce. Okay, the squid is still moving. And we've also got a beautiful lunch set here as well. King crab leg. We've got a nice Pacific sari, lots of salt on there, grilled right over the coals. And I'm really loving how there's such rich seafood miso soup here. And then of course, we've got the natto, the fermented soybeans. So we're gonna try the natto. Mmm. It's bitter and slimy. That is actually really, in my opinion, Nasty. I have not developed the palate for that yet. It's like eating the snot from a sick dragon. Arigatou uh, Hi. We'll try it again. Mmm. It's bitter. And slimy. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I don't know about that. Let's go in for a crab leg. Oh! King crab leg. Mmm! Oh! Whoa! That is so tender. This is insane. Look at that. It's still moving. Just sliced. Wow. And it's served with ikura, salmon egg, and the body of the squid is sliced underneath it. So we've got this squid sashimi, and we've got this squid body. And the deal here is you just pour a little soy on it, Oh, oh my goodness. That is just crazy. And enjoy. And you can also see there's these squid guts here. And that's a specialty. Chef was slicing those up for us and that goes perfectly with the sliced squid. So this is kind of like a squid sashimi with the guts coated all over it. And we try it out. Okay, let's go for it guys. Wow. Mm. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's suctioning okay. onto my tongue. Mmm. Oh, tasty. Oishi. Oishi. Mmm. Very good. It's crunchy. 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 Mmm. I got to go Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Definitely took a big bite from there. That is really all about the crunchy springy texture. The flavor, it's very just, very quite, quite clear and simple. Just like raw squid pretty much with a bit of a salty soy nice. sauce. Oishi, oh, very nice, thank you. Mmm, 
beautiful. Awesome guys, and we are heading and continuing on our noodle journey. We're heading to Osaka now. Thanks so much for watching. Please click the little bell notification button and subscribe button down below and consider supporting us on YouTube and Facebook as well. Click the join and become a supporter button down below. And we're gonna be providing you guys with weekly exclusive content and monthly live streams along with street food maps. Thanks a lot guys. And we're just getting on the plane.